Okay guys, here we are. It's been months since the first phase of this build uh, was completed. And uh, the rainy season has come and gone. And let me tell you, I've learned so much. According to the contractor, this thing would hold up and it'd be okay. But what happened was the water came down under this thing and undermined the footing. And as you can see here, a big old hole down there where the water ran. And as you can see, down there at the end, it's a little curve on the wall from the dirt getting saturated and pushing out on the wall. After doing some research, what I have concluded is the floor should have been built first. And like I always say, hindsight is 2020. Well, it's been months since this was completed. It's been uh, about uh, a month and a half, two months since the rainy season ended. Now the contractor will be coming back. Uh, Right now, it's the middle of, uh, well, almost. It's like the 11th of December. So, it's almost the middle of December. And he will be here sometime after New Year's. And uh, he could probably come out earlier, but I don't want him here until after New Year's. And uh, this way, it gives me time to gather whatever materials I need uh, I talked to him uh, last Sunday and he will be here this coming Sunday to look at this and tell me what it is that I am going to need as far as material now I have ordered uh, four trucks of dirt what I will be doing is I need to get in here and take these weeds out so we can put some dirt in here at least at least halfway up that first block on all of these compartments all these tanks and then of course after he comes and uh, rebuilds these walls then we will refill those compartments or not refill we will fill those compartments with dirt and bring that level up to uh, halfway up this first block there now on that first collapse over there I took out the block out but on these uh, other two I'm not gonna do it when they get here they can do it so between now and then I'm gonna get in here take these weeds out and uh, get it ready for uh, adding this dirt to the bottom of this Yeah, so that is what's going to happen. I will take all these weeds out. When the dirt gets here, we'll put it in here, level that bottom out, and then the contractor will be here, hopefully on Sunday, and tell me what he needs. Now, the plan is, the plan is, is to 
first you know after I've done all the leveling of the dirt and what have you but first is to get these walls re, uh, re uh, installed in here so that's three walls this one this one and the one in that compartment on the other side so once that's done I will take this pipe here I will cut into the bottom and tee off and run it along this thing and what I'm thinking is is that in every compartment I will have a pipe coming up here and into this area here where I will put a shutoff valve and that's so that I can add water to this thing as needed. So each one of these compartments will have its own water supply and uh, that's one thing. The other thing is of course concrete will go into the floor There will be concrete all the way around on the outside here, all here in the middle and on that side to create a little walk walk a walkway going all the way around. Plus, right here where you see this conduit coming out, I want some uh, four by fours like this to form all the way around post that will hold uh, a roof over this thing so that it will provide some shade to keep the water in these tanks somewhat cooler. Now my thinking right now is that From here, we'll pick up this level and come out this way and form the frame to this, uh, to all these tanks. Now this walkway here lines up with this, so I want this to be, uh, open well I will put a door here but I wanted to uh, match up with this because eventually there will be concrete in here so I want that to happen and of course the reason that I'm putting these 4x4 metal is because I will put uh, chain link all the way around uh, to keep you know whatever animals are around here out of there and also to keep the temptation down of somebody jumping the fence at night and uh, helping themselves to free fish like they do all over Thailand now it's very simple if I have the fish and somebody asks me for a fish so they could eat I will be happy to give it to them I just don't like when somebody takes it from you without asking. So right now that's the plan. Now here I'm still in debate and I might I might do this but I might put concrete all the way from the wall to this thing all the way through to this side now here, it'll be about 50, 60 centimeters. So the concrete would come to about here. So I'm thinking of all this area here, making it concrete. It'd probably be easier to maintain and you wouldn't have all this grass. Plus you'll ha you're gonna have shade over it. So 
I, I think it'd probably be the best thing is to put concrete on this. Now the other thing, two things that I need to do, which I haven't done yet, is uh, somewhere, somewhere about here, uh, there's a column there. I need to put a hole here and here under under the footing here and then put a box here so that when I wash the inside of this chicken coop so when I wash the inside of this chicken coop it will have a place to uh, collect and drain down into the ground and then of course you know all the uh, straw and poop and whatever collects there after the water goes down well I can take it out and add it over there to the compost I think that would work out pretty good now once this roof goes up then I can see what I've got here and uh, see what kind of shade uh, will be casted on this thing because you're going to have a wall going up with a roof and the sun is over on that side. Now here, as you can see, there's a lot of sun on this thing. But once this structure goes up, it might provide enough shade here that I don't have to uh, put a shade cloth over this thing like I had initially thought. But I think I will wait until this is done and then make the decision on this. Because I have tried to uh, raise some vegetables and stuff, grow some vegetables and stuff. And uh, the, the sun is just extremely hot on them. So I think uh, once this building goes up, if there's enough shade on there, then it'll be okay. Because the morning is not that hot, but it's the afternoon that gets them. And if it still has a lot of sun, well, then I will provide some shade. Now, eventually, now eventually, these trees will also uh, put some shade on there. And, uh, you know, that's a good while from now, but eventually it will be there. All right, so let's wait and see and... I will show you as it happens. All right. Okay, here's uh, the first load of sand. I've ordered four loads. So I will put the sand inside the eight compartments and around the walkway. Now, the contractor preferred sand rather than dirt, so even though it's more expensive, that's what we got. So there it is. All right, we'll wait for the other three trucks. I don't know if it's the same guy bringing it or what, but the goal is four trucks. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, so we got uh, four loads of sand delivered. The sand that used to be here that was left over from the chicken coop no no that was left over from the fish tank I used first because it'd been sitting around this character here who knows what he put in there so I used it as the stuff that's gonna go under the concrete floor and then here, I have started on the uh, first of the four loads just came in. I'm about halfway through that one. And uh, what I did, is I leveled this. I leveled this. And going off in this direction, 
I have already leveled this tank here and what I did is I added enough sand to go up halfway on the bottom block and then of course there's going to be uh, some concrete put on top of that probably to the top of that first block or roughly thereabouts I don't know probably eight ten centimeters and I will do that to all eight tanks however I have to wait until this tank and those two tanks over there are rebuilt so what I'm going to do to save time is I will get rid of those weeds and stuff down there and then throw in sand and pile it up back here this way when this is done the sand can just be moved and uh, quickly leveled then of course we're gonna have to backfill this once the wall is up but my plan is to get rid of that pile there around and in the tanks take whatever sand I need of, off of that and then you have two over there and I'll use as part of the mixing mortar or uh, some sand needs to go up front so uh, wherever it needs to go is where it will go now here the plan is I had talked about bringing out this walkway out this way 50 centimeters but I think I'm gonna go 60 I'm gonna go 60 centimeters which is probably about to here and then it will go across all the way to this wall and I'm gonna put cement all in here and then here this goes to uh, one side of the chicken coop which I will put a uh, little gutter type thing to come out this will be dug bigger and deeper and uh, as I wash out the chicken coop it'll come here sink into the ground and take the uh, uh, hay and poop and whatever is left over and uh, take it out of there and go throw it in the compost pile now the other thing I'm thinking about doing which has nothing to do with the tank I'm thinking about coming through here it is a little uneven uh, some settling on the wall as you saw in one of the previous videos I think I will go through and uh, take out stuff like this and then Put some light sand to level this thing out and the reason I think I will do that is so that up along the wall it has something to fill those gaps but it will level this thing up a little bit and hopefully keep some of the weeds down hopefully don't know but you know now over here as uh, I had talked about before in previous videos this will be a door lining up with this now what I think I will do is from this wall also come out 60 centimeters but I think that this walkway should probably come up to about here and then from this point shoot straight across just a little bit past this way from that corner and put concrete all in here that's the plan and uh, we'll see what happens now the other thing that I had thought about is this conduit is here I was gonna put it inside the 4x4 and bring it up 
by the ceiling, by the roof. But I'm going to move it. I think what I'm going to do is bring it out this way and put it in through this 4x4. Four four. Now this will get tied to the roof on this thing and then what I'll do is I'll run the wire up through the ceiling and uh, go wherever I need it. So that's the plan and I think that's what I'll do until I come up with something different or there's a problem and something has to change but for now that's the plan. I'm going to continue moving the sand, filling these things, and then there will be three tanks that will need uh, additional filling once the walls go up. And again on this what I'm going to do is get rid of all these weeds, pile up some sand in here, and then move it around as needed. Same thing here. I'll get rid of these weeds, pile some here, cover up that hole, and just pile it up here ready to be spread out and whatever additional sand is to go in there will go in there. And then of course these tanks are good so I will put in some sand. Right now I'm doing this one, almost done with this one. It's a good little bit of sand that goes in there because from the bottom of the block it kind of angles in and gets deeper and that happened because of settling and during the rainy season it moved it around, washed it over into the next tank. And as you can see, that is why some of these walls collapsed. The water got in behind the wall, pushed it up from the bottom, and then off it went. Then it did this one, and as you can see, from the size of that hole over there, there was quite a bit of water running through here, so, yeah. All right, let me get busy and see what happens. Okay, so here we are. I have moved uh, two truck loads. The one that was here and the one that was over in that other corner down there. And what I did, is I put sand all in here, all in here, all the way around. All the way around. Now I think what I'm gonna do is, I guess you call it Johnson grass. There's this grass that just grows wild every, everywhere out here. I think I'm going to let this area be covered with that stuff. And then just use a mower instead of the weed whacker. Because the weed whacker just destroys the grass that was here. It's too tender. If you see this grass... I guess it's, I don't, I don't know if it's considered a grass, but maybe a weed. But either way, it turns into an area like the one you see over there. Nice and green, and it creates a very nice mat. So I think all of this area here,
And this area in here, with the exception of, I'm going to put a concrete pad here. And of course, it's going to be concrete all the way around here. So after this, after this uh, fish house is done and the concrete is in, then I will uh, do the grass business here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And there's that character, he's going to fall in. Hey, hey! Oh, he wants to up. There he goes. <laughs> now the problem is, is will he be able to get out or do I need to go get him? Don't know. Let's see what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know. He's smelling something. Now how are you going to get out? Uh -huh. Good luck, buddy. Okay, well at least I know where you're at. <clears throat> the other thing is, is I've added sand and leveled this thing out on five of the ink tanks. And uh, this one here and the two over there, I will have to wait until the walls go back up and uh, then put the sand in there. Now the, I talked to the contractor and the latest and greatest is he will be here on the 15th. So the 15th could mean before that, I doubt it, but it can definitely be after that. So we're gonna see what happens. <clears throat> now the other thing is, Here, it's going to be a walkway running across here, and out here, you're going to have a 4x4 four four, uh, post, eight of them, to support the roof on this area here. And what I'm going to do is, before I had talked about running a a one inch pipe in here to fill this thing out but I think what I'm gonna do is along here all the way out that way is I'm going to put a little little piece of concrete and put the uh, filters on top of this concrete and over here on this side run the one inch pipe for filling it out. Well, the OG's out. I guess he was able to get out. And then, from this, from this water pump here, I'm gonna run a line from there to that blue pipe there. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a, there's a line already coming to this blue pipe. I'm gonna run a line from that pipe all the way down here to this area and I'm gonna put uh, two 2,000 liter tanks which line up with this sidewalk here and that will connect to the water supply for the tanks now there's a lot of rust in the water so what I will do is put some aerators on top of these tanks here and that will get rid of the bulk of the rust and then the filter that I put here should eliminate the rest or if not most of it and uh, I think it'll be okay yeah well we'll play it by ear see what happens and uh, I'll tell you as we do it so right now, let's uh, wait and see if this contractor makes it out on the 15th. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.